Hello and welcome to Ableton Life Insider Tips. And uh, this time I still want to talk about the options.txt file. Um, and in the last tutorial we already created it. I'm not going to repeat all the details. So if you haven't watched the other one and you don't know where you have to put this file, you might want to watch the, the other tutorial first. So now we already have an options.txt file. We can open it and this was the one we were talking about last time. And this time I want to show you two more commands that you can add. The first one is enable map to siblings and auto adjust macro mapping range. So um, let's just, you know, make sure that it's typed up correctly. Yep, here, everything's fine. Save. Done. And now let's start live and I'll show you what those do. So now you can just say like, let's say we want to map the volume here to macro one. See, so here now you see it's mapped to volume one and you want to now map all of those chains the same way. You want to map all the volumes the same way. That'd be, you know, quite a lot of tedious work. But what you can do with the enable map to siblings command now, you have the option map to all siblings. So to all 49 siblings, just click on that and you'll see if I just, um, let's see which one I've chosen here. So this one's chosen. That's one. That's the one I actually mapped. And um, now you can just go through all the different ones. Whoops. Um, and you see they're all mapped the same way. All in one go. Um, and uh, what the auto adjust macro mapping range does is that it actually adjusts the setting that you have for a parameter here, the minus 6 dB in this case, as the lowest setting. Otherwise, when you actually map a control, it jumps back to the lowest setting possible, which in this case would be minus 36 dB. And so this way, you actually don't have to readjust everything. So that's quite nice. And that's it for today. I hope I see you next time.